Welcome to my weekly Fabricate Friday video on my YouTube channel and blog. I'm Suzanne, a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Canada. Today's video is all about paper crafting. I'm here to share how easy it is to make a 3D project. I also sell the products I feature in this video. I hope you enjoy my free video tutorial and I would love to see you shop with me. Hi everybody, it's Suzanne here. I have a really cute fold flat box. I'm on a roll with these fold flat boxes. I love them. So it will fold flat even with the uh, embellishment on the front. It is using the Twinkle Twinkle Designer Series paper. Super excited to show you this build because I'm going to feature a new Designer Series paper. So for today's box, I need a piece of cardstock that is 10 and a half by 8 inches. We're starting on the long side, so the 10 and a half side, I'm going to score at a half, three and a half, five and a half, and eight and a half. I'm going to rotate it to the short side, which is the eight inch side. I'm scoring at a half, two and a half, five and a half, and seven and a half fold and burnish all score lines. Okay, we're gonna do a little cutting and I am going to use my larger scissors just because it makes my life easier. If you do have a pair of the old Stampin' Up, these were Stampin' Up, as you can see, it says Stampin' Up right there, but they don't sell it anymore. I'm gonna remove these four rectangles. Actually, it is three rectangles and one square, because that's a square. up on those two score lines. I'm gonna lop off this tab and this tab. And I'm gonna wedge the tabs a little. All right, we're flipping it around to this side. Cutting up on those score lines, removing these whole little bits, and pretty much what we did on the other side, except we're going to be opposite when we remove the lid, which is this part right here. I'm also going to take the opportunity to wedge out just this little bit right there and this little bit right here. When I lie it down, you should be able to see this is what you get. I'm going to take my favorite adhesive, run it along the side here, fold it, fold it, check to see if I have any overhang. I have a little. Not much though. I can feel it with my thumb. And truly it should be smooth. Perfect. Let's put this box together. So I am going to use some new paper. It's called Come Sail Away With Me. No, Come Sail Away Designer Series Paper. 
And the size you're going to need for the front and the back is two and three quarters by two and three quarters. For the top, you are going to need a piece that is two and three quarters by one and three quarters. Mind the pattern. When I say that, if this is all lines, you want this to be going the same way and not this way. Because these guys, again, mind the pattern, you're going to want to make sure that these, uh, this pattern goes this way and not this way. Uh, so you're going to need two of these. That is two and three quarters by one and three quarters. There we go. That's the front. <laughs> so I have the Knight of Navy Sahara Sand Baker's Twine. I made it into a little sailor's knot. And if you would like to learn how to make the sailor's knot, stay with me to the very end of the video and I will go over it. But for now, in case you're not interested and you just want to see me design the box, we're almost there. This is a stitched oval and this absolutely adorable anchor. Is from the sail away trinkets and I'm going to add one more trinket because I seriously cannot get enough with a little glue dot. This is the steering wheel. I'm going to tuck that up under and then we have a sailor's knot and then an anchor. So I'm not even going to stamp on that because that looks absolutely adorable. Now if you would like to learn how to make that sailor's knot I will share with you. All right we have two strings. I'm going to put this one inside. I'm going to cross it over. This leg I'm going to stick underneath. This leg I'm going to take and put through my loop. This leg I'm going to go under its counterpart there and then under the loop. And that's it tightened. Thanks so much for joining me. If you haven't subscribed already, I would love for you to subscribe. Bye for now. Hey, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. On screen are two more videos for inspiration. Click on the maple leaf for my blog or click on me to subscribe to my channel. Thanks again for watching.